Well, it was really touching to see that your soul is much as uh, connected with Bihar. And it was really nice to see the people yesterday giving. And you've had a lot of support for, from the film industry, the United Nations. And can you talk a little bit about that? I think it, it, it's, it's natural that you, know, uh, you, you extend your help in whatever manner uh, you can do that. Uh, all my uh, friends and uh, organizations like AODB, the Bihar Samaj, uh, Ramesh Yadavji, who is kind of a pillar uh, of s strength for Biharis uh, in, in, in the Bay Area. He was the first one to move and uh, he contacted me and we were in touch. And uh, apart from all the local help, from the film industry people, my friends, uh, industry in general, uh, my friends all over the world, and organizations who are working uh, for the relief, uh, the CII, the you know the the, the doctors, uh, every every single person was you know out there to help. And uh, uh, when I heard that Ramesh ji uh, was mooting the idea of having. Uh, kind of like, you know, uh, declaring uh, as a Bihar Relief Day. Uh, I was very moved and I uh, wanted to come here and be with his mission. And, uh, and that's why I am here uh, in San Francisco. And we, we had uh, a tremendous evening yesterday. I think there was so much energy flowing in. And uh, the, the continued support of uh, the Biharis who are able to help, who are away from home, who have pain and who are in a position to alleviate some of the uh, some of the disastrous kind of you know uh, situations we are facing. Uh, I think I think it's important for us to to, to make the connection and to continue with uh, the mission. So right now um, you have one village that you mentioned with 5,000 people. Can you tell me how many people are still displaced? I mean, they're displaced out of their home. They're living in some type of shelter. And we'll see the video on that. We'll see the video of where they're living and what you've done. But how many people more are, um, how many more people need the help? Well, as I said, uh, we are not looking after just one village. We are looking after village, uh, uh, several panchayats. Um, which means a cluster of villages, you know, which are submerged. But uh, as I said, and the, the, the numbers are that almost 2.5 to 3 million people are homeless. Uh, most of them have migrated to, um, you know, uh, different cities to, to seek jobs, and uh, uh, they are laborers. They are probably most of them are landless. But uh, I think, uh, as the government figures says about you know, 450,000 people are still living in the camps. Uh, the water has begun to recede in many areas where, which are like, you know, which are kind of higher uh, plains. But I think it will be a very, very long process for all the people to go back to the villages and it will require a mammoth planning and task to, to rebuild those villages and uh, to create the infrastructure which will, uh, you know, inhabit them. Um, yesterday, thank you. Yesterday, you were talking about Bihar being an ideal place for development and growth and b having a lot of um, manpower, labor. A lot of the people that are affected by the flood, you know, they're probably, tell me about their uh, economic status and what range of, um, do you have, you know, middle class families and upper class families and laborers? Is it the whole gamut? Well, water didn't uh, uh, only, only get into the poor people's houses. Water uh, got into every single house. And uh, there are people, uh, you know, uh, ranging from landless to laborers to skilled uh, workers to uh, people who are educated, people who are middle class, people uh, who are also upper middle class. They all uh, have been affected completely by this devastation. Uh, rehabilitating them, um, you know, uh, is, is, is going to be uh, quite a task. Um, when I was talking about Bihar being uh, a huge opportunity, what I'm actually meaning uh, to say that since there hasn't been much of a development in Bihar, 
uh, it has been lagging behind the, uh, the rest of the national uh, uh, scenario as far as growth is concerned. It definitely is a low cost entry for businesses and uh, tremendous potential as far as agriculture is concerned because we have one of the best uh, land in, in, in the country. Uh, we have the best uh, kind of like, you know, water table in the country. Uh, we have water just about five or six feet below the surface of the earth. We also have a huge human resource. We also have a very large educated uh, population. Uh, the, the, the tragedy is that almost 40 percent of uh, the working Biharis mm -hmm. actually work outside Bihar. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this process of rehabilitation, uh, I would like to extend not only to the people who are affected by floods, mm -hmm. but also to all the people who are able-bodied, who have the intellect, who have the resources, mm -hmm. to rehabilitate themselves economically, socially, and in terms of industry, to be able to revive Bihar, to be able to set Bihar on the path of growth.